Matt here with Code Tech and Tutorials. Just wanted to talk a little bit about developing game engines and making decisions behind the scene. This is not a uh, how-to video. It's more of just some observations and some thoughts. So, okay, so let's jump into it. I'm here kind of working on some structure for my new game. Still pretty early on in the development. And one thing I noticed is, you know, a lot of this stuff I've somewhat pseudo uh, implemented somewhere before in one of my previous projects. So a lot of times I'll just be like, okay, well, rather than spend a bunch of time rewriting this, let's just pull in what we currently have and we'll adapt as necessary. And one of the things that tends to happen when I'm doing these sort of things is I begin to recognize things I could have done better. Like, for instance, uh, what we have here is a camera class we're looking at, and it's a pretty standard camera class. Notably, this is uh, not included right now, so that's something we have to decide. Um, a little off topic, but what Unique Instance does here is basically is it gives the class an ID uh, type setup, so you can do a get ID, and anytime you instantiate one, it gets a unique ID, some special stuff like that, um, which is, you know, if you want to see more on that, let me know, I can make a video on that. Now, the camera, let's talk about the camera because that's uh, where I noticed this thing. So the camera also has a skybox. When I was designing uh, this camera and the skybox, I had to figure out a way to tie them together because essentially the skybox, it needs to know for its rendering purposes what the current, uh, all the stuff basically, the viewport, um, your view matrix, and your projection matrix. Those are the main things the skybox needs to know about. So. In your, your skybox is also, it tends to be tied to a particular camera, like a certain camera just always sees the skybox and that's how it renders. So I thought it would be a great idea to just make a unique pointer to the skybox and just create the, the, the skybox just on the stack here. Anytime you make a camera, you can also make a skybox or you can leave it null, which, you know, is fine, really. That's the way I had it designed. That's the way it worked in the old Archer engine. But, you know, I was thinking, what about if the skybox could also just only take any what it needs and just not be here at all we could uh, do all the skybox on its own in its own area not tied in with the camera and then what would the skybox need it would need things it needs to render it needs a viewport the view matrix and i don't know it might need some other of these things i think it needs field of view maybe viewport view matrix field of view um, just a few specific things for it to render it doesn't need all this camera stuff is the point so a lot of this stuff is uh a bit overkill so what we could do is we could uh take this skybox here and uh go to where it's set up here so what we could do here is when we instantiate a skybox you know normally we take the files uh that it brings in which is kind of a slow method another thing that needs refactor but we could also say um well we need a camera reference like we could just reference a camera but then we start getting into more interesting things like when the camera changes it needs to update the skybox so we could do a reference in each class to each other and kind of tie them together but that feels a little bit too attached so we could do that though that is an option we could do we could make a, a camera pointer and being that it's a camera pointer we can say that it's not in charge of the memory it uh you know relies on the other camera to stay instantiated there's some requirements that pop up with that so you can do it it's not too bad, but once again, the camera just has a ton of information that the Skybox doesn't care about. Skybox only really cares about those few projection matrices that we were looking at. I think it's mainly the view matrix and uh, projection matrix that get updated on the shaders, but if the field of view changes or if the viewport changes, or in other words, the screen size most of the time, but it could be just some other picture and picture type set up within your screen, uh, if any of those change, on this skybox so we want them to update on the skybox as well so not just uh its screen so we have to think of that now because if we don't have the skybox here and we implement it separately and then give it a camera then what if the camera stuff changes well we do have access to the camera so we could just check it here directly on the skybox but where at there's no update method or anything like that so maybe we would have to put in an update method and on the update we would check whether the camera, any of those changed on the camera or not. And then if they did, then we, we'd we uh, push some updates uh, to whatever's rendering our skybox, you know, to the uniforms. And that's another set of complications. There's always a set of complications. So 
we had to just kind of keep asking what other designs could we come up with that might be better because both of those both of those previous methods the ones i've talked about in this video both work they there's not anything particularly wrong with them other than the thing that might be wrong with them is that they're not necessarily the best choice, but they will get you going. You can just implement it that way. And uh, that's kind of what this video is about, is just looking at old implementations and realizing just through studying and practicing and keeping up with things and by exposing yourself to new concepts, uh, even if it's just, you know, like my design pattern videos, that's kind of the point, just expose you to new concepts. Uh, it might not all click in the moment, but if you, if you go through all those, you will come out the other side after you know maybe you have a day or two off you a weekend or whatever you come back and just notice things that you didn't notice before and that's uh I, th I find that to be just one of the coolest things about programming and just continuing to try to push yourself and learn and uh yeah just thought i'd share that with you guys so i guess for me going forward here you know I, i'm basically gonna decide at this point what to do with the skybox and camera and i think i've figured out what i want to do and yeah i'm gonna remove it from the camera we're gonna have it be its own standalone object but i think we want to just pull from a camera a viewport view matrix and projection matrix but the thing is here we don't want to do it every frame we don't want to be pulling all the time because the majority of the time the viewport's just going to be sitting there because, you know, a lot of times in a game or whatever, you're just sitting there looking at the same thing or messing with inventory or who knows what. You're not always moving these matrices around and you're not always changing your view. Uh, so you don't want to pull when you don't have to. So what's a better method? I might just keep this skybox reference here, but rather than unique, I'll either make it shared or I'll just make it a raw pointer. And anytime any of these change, we'll call a method that we're going to add to the skybox called like uh, update or something um void update matrices or something like that and with that sort of setup we can just pass in the matrices or do we want to pass them in we could do them by const reference so they'd be kind of fast but that still does use up some some caching uh but not too much um and then we'd have to add a few more things to the skybox here to uh make it update its proper shader because i believe that's all done internally somewhere else so there's yet another thing to think about and that's this is kind of in a nutshell what happens when you develop a game engine you just run into a lot of things like this you know actually you don't really run into this till after you get through all your setup you know once you start actually having things working and then realize oh i need to i need to slot this in somewhere or i need to change something else to make it fit better that's when you realize things might not be organized as well as you originally thought but uh all right well hope you enjoyed these these thoughts and this analysis and just uh i feel like this is uh something that some people might enjoy or have uh further insight on or anything like that so anyway i'll see you guys next time peace out Consider becoming a patron today and you'll get access to some extra content. The Discord, I will answer any questions you have and you'll become uh, joined into the, the coffee talk where we talk about, I, I don't know what we talk about, I guess I just, I just talked to you guys. Have you seen my red stapler?